Championship. As Tua enters the ring with a... That was good enough for us. But then here's the heavyweight title away from Lennox Lewis. David Tua, the Tua man, believes he can. Just look at him. He almost looks like some character from WWF, doesn't he? Eight fights, never stopped, never flawed as a pro. In his way, Lennox Lewis is, I believe, at his peak, at his very best. He's going to be a hard champion. World heavyweight champion, it also has an Olympic champion at the moment in Audley Harrison. Audley will have the odd word with Audley as the night goes on. Lewis tonight in his 14th World Heavyweight Championship fight. Six and a half more million earnings to an estimated 70 million. We want some fireworks during the action too, don't we? But Lewis with his skills has got to try and do that. But it's worth remembering that at 35... Uh, let's get ready to rumble! David Pua! Uh, Alex Lua! population 294. All right, gentlemen, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch him up. The distance in 19 seconds. World title fight number 14 for Lennox Lewis. Great right hand from Lewis there too, just mixing it up. Then I think two is in big trouble. The two are coming in very low. Watch for Lewis to land that long right hand. That's what he's going to look for. He's going to try and hit. It's a fast start from Lewis. He loves that overhand right. Tua is dangerous every second. Officially for the WBC and IVF. Every time he does get, trying to find a way past this jab and start to make one or two mistakes. Difficult to hit. Good better from Tua, just getting close enough to get some time. Oh, there's a low blow, low blow from... There goes the attempted left hook, and he got it caught up in the ropes that time to her. Missed with the left hook at the end of the To land at all. Well, he's doing the right thing. There's that low shot. It was. But it's difficult for Lennox to get down that low. It's a difficult part of the boy to aim for. And there's that good left hook, which just was tall, but it did catch. Proven to it. He's getting closer. For 12 rounds. It's already gone longer than Lennox's last two defences against Michael Brown and Franklin. Well, I think you know, the, the lowness of the head of Tua, giving Lennox a few problems, just getting his accuracy right, needs to start putting... ...gets close enough to land it. There's the attempted left hook again. Again, no more than a glancing blow, though. Ends a bit as well, Lewis. Can't afford to be too cocky. Very pro to a crowd. Big finish to the round from Lewis. But he didn't do that much. Keep using the up jab, the up jab, the right hand to the body, double the hook and the straight right hand back to the chest. So good for Lewis, he was excellent in the first round, totally dominant. There he goes again, when the attempt... Ooh. It's actually the fifth coming out now. <laughs> yes, you feel getting a bit frustrated, a bit anxious corner. He's missing while he needs to get closer in before he unloads those big shots. With this performance, they respect him. That's a problem. When he feels he's done that a bit, took the sting out of Tua. In the power bit by bit. Right hand from Tua. Seemed to land a glancing blow. Doesn't know enough. That could change. He's always got the hope. And he's looking really classy. He's not making any too many mistakes. And Lennox, if he keeps doing this, he's going to... Audley Harrison, Britain's oh, Olympic oh, champion, Harry, soon Harry. to... All right, all right. Not quite as dramatic as the paraglider of uh, Bo Holyfield fame. Great right hand from Lewis. He's not having that much trouble punching down here. I've ever come across him fighting a Oh, trim. there's a left hook! He's got him! With a left hook, and Lewis took the punch! Well, 
It takes a bit more than that, I think, but he's trying hard, getting close, another good left hook. In that two a corner, I think they're disappointed in their man's effort. Yes, they thought he would have done better at this stage, getting closer, being more dangerous. There's the one of the good... I think the accusation of caution against Lennox Lewis is a fair one. Slightly changing the angle. Bringing that right hand strength and everything else that Lennox Lewis possesses. They certainly all talk very highly about his destiny. That's better from Tiller, three punches to the body. It's another round, getting desperate in that two a corner. Definitely, a two is not doing what he said he was going to do, and he's so far. He might indeed have lost every round. I did give him a share of the third. Yeah. Still to prove here that underneath the exuberance of the war cries, he can really cut it at this level. Oh, big, big left hook. Back foot now, starting to let him have the shot. Looks like he's softened him up and he's lining up something here. Three rounds. Going out there trying to hit him with one shot. He can't, and look at his face now, the confidence gone. That looks a man who's sickened by the punches he's taken. And Lewis sits there looking like he's been for a haircut. Good contact. Right hand from Lennox. And that's how to negate a left hook. Telegraph the left hook, and Lewis makes him pay here with a whole series of punches in punches. thrown in 12 rounds and in the Thriller in Manila. Lewis's reflexes are remarkable for a man of his age. He's hardly got a mark on him. Just not in the fight. Lewis, I would imagine, has had hardest sparring sessions. Do it with somebody as good as Lennox Lewis. They were talking. Blocked again, the left hook. Good combination there from Lewis. There's only a few fans who are booing, but there are some fans who want to see World War Three every time they... And in there at the moment, to his reputation, He's going down the drain. Olympic champion Audley Harrison. It's amazingly one-sided. Yeah, I mean, technically, Lennox has got everything right. And I have to tell you, some people are leaving the arena. Well, he's just such a big winner. I mean, I've got him massively ahead. 10 100. Seen anything this big in a heavyweight title fight. It looks like it's going to go the full. There's always a lot of big talk in the build-up to these fights and there was quite a bit of it not from two himself so much as his well look at the way it's going that two of camp they're gonna have to eat big words after this I have to say I don't think this is Lennox Lewis's fault but for Lennox it's not about being a spectacle I think this is Lennox Lewis's fault because what he's doing is annihilating to her Even he could have expected it would be that easy. Tourist now got a cut by that left eye that had been so angry. 80 seconds left. Well, Tourist has been doing some training with WWF The Rock. He could have done with The Rock in there with him. The Rock, is he? That's The Rock. <laughs> right, right. That's him. Glenn oh. knows about these things. <laughs> Too classy, Lennox Lewis. And it's a shutout here. I think he might have won every round on every card. A third, possibly. It's late, very late. One last gamble from David Tua. He saw the president of the heavyweights. He's been throughout. Proved he is You're a tremendous, brilliant to see a boxer who can dominate the heavyweight division like this. You know, he's British, he's bad. The chance arises and there's a different style mix. He blasted out Michael Grant in two rounds. He blasted out Franz Boter in a couple of rounds. He worked out in his head, the perfectionist in him, that the way to do 
the job was to pick Tour apart from distance and do exactly what he did, and he didn't lose it. The masterclass of boxing, he just said there, it's science, and it was them. Um, yeah, it was science, he just... Champion of the world from Great Britain, Lennox Landslide decision for Lewis, and I'm surprised that...